Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and this is the second of several episodes outlining a complete RED workflow for your Avid editing application. So last week we ingested RED footage into Media Composer for offline editing using MetaFuse and today we'll conform the edited sequence to DPX files for later grading or effects work. For this we'll use a tool called Monkey Extract, which is a great tool, but it's not free. It's 350 bucks, but you should be able to spend that kind of money, I think, if you go into DPX and it will save you an endless amount of time and pain uh, if, if you buy that. So trust me, buy that a copy of that program for 350 bucks. All right. So uh, with, with the footage that we imported last week, uh, I edited a, a short a short sequence, well, which is not really a very, very good sequence, but you know, for the purposes of this tutorial, it should su suffice. And note that I uh, changed all the clip names to, you know, names that actually make sense and not that weird red uh, camera file names. Uh, and it will still work. So you can rename all the, the master clip names uh, to something that, that makes sense. Now this is a very basic sequence. It has uh, only a dissolve and uh, dip to color as effects because the EDL that we will export does not support any major effects. So if you give your EDL and the DBX files to the, the film grader or whoever is next down the chain, uh, you will not be able to, uh, to use any of the effects but dissolves. Um, so don't bother <laughs> doing any other effects at this point anyway. Okay, so we have the sequence, very nice. And now we'll have to export an EDL. You could also do this with an XML file using Filmscribe XML, and we'll do that in a, in a later episode when we conform uh, to DNX HD or uncompressed HD for onlining inside uh, Media Composer or Symphony. But for this tutorial, we'll we'll use uh, the Avid EDL manager to export the EDL. Now you could send the sequence to the EDL manager, but that doesn't work half of the time. So let's just open EDL manager by hand and select open and open the bin that contains your sequence. Select the sequence that you want to use and it immediately creates uh, an EDL. However, you want to change the EDL type to RED16. Now, if you don't have RED16 within your EDL manager, you can download that EDL type from Avid and the link will be in the show notes. Also check out the settings and make sure that the real ID type is camera roll. Now theoretically you could also use the CMX3600 EDL type and depending on the system that you know you want to take all the stuff that you export to it might make sense but you know generally the RED16 is nicer because it retains the whole file name of the red footage in the EDL and not just the first eight characters of it. Now there's the flashing update button so it tells you click me, click me, so do it. And you're pretty much done with this. So save the EDL. And open monkey extract. So now you want to render the red footage to DPX files. So select that option. Tell the application where your R3D files are. Render only the footage used in an EDL until it, it is a red 16 EDL or a CMX 3600 EDL, depending on which one you used. And tell the application where that EDL can be found. So 
select which time code was used during the shoot. And now edit the render settings. DPX, render only the frames used and give a handle length that makes sense for you. And uh, this is actually a very important option uh, where Monkey Extract creates an EDL file that helps the colorist later on relink the DPX files. You can leave the rest of the options the way they are unless you are sure you want to change them. Resolution. We do not want to scale the output resolution but want to output real 4K DPX files. Now on the color and gamma tab there's a great option to uh, apply the RSX settings. That is if you tweak the settings in Red Alert it creates a meta file that contains all of those changes and you can apply them now on a clip by clip basis or you could say um, you have created one RSX file that you want to uh, apply to all the clips. You can also change the color space settings and all that good stuff that you know about red. In here in the curve and matrix tab you have kind of a small red alert uh, where you can change um, the gamma curve or you know the, the white balance or you know whatever but I'd, I'd always recommend doing that in, in Red Alert and applying a RSX file because actually you can't see what you're doing <laughs> when you do stuff here so you know with Red Alert you always have you know the direct feedback on <laughs> what what your settings actually do okay so hit apply settings set an output directory And now go ahead and say start render. Monkey Extract just magically finds all the R3D files that have to be used and starts rendering. And now you can get a cup of coffee or 300 of them um, and just wait till it's done. After some time, uh, Monkey Extract is finally done and all the DPX files are right here. That's all fine and good, but you also need um, EDL to point to the DPX files. And this DPX file has been created by Monkey Extract. You can click Show in Finder, and there it is. Now you can go ahead and give that stuff to the person who grades your movie, and you should be fine. And if not, they're probably going to call you and uh, scream at you. All right, thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. Next week, we are going to conform to DNX HD files for onlining in Media Composer or Symphony. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com or on iTunes or watch past episodes on the website. And if you have any comments or suggestions, like show topics or anything, just drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com or just comment on the website. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash avidscreencast and on Facebook at facebook.com slash avidscreencast. And if you like to know what kind of things I do in my day job, check out editguy.de. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you next time. Goodbye.